A building in downtown Reading that dates back to the Roaring Twenties is set to be brought back to life. The project's been in the works since 2012 and now looks to be one step closer to completion. WFMZ's Tom Rader is live outside the old Meridian Bank on North 6th. For Tom. Robin, Wendy, take a look behind me here. This is a terracotta facade. I learned that word today. It's an architecture term there. But yes, that's right. The old Meridian Bank building. And you see that balcony up there. That middle balcony actually collapsed last summer. That's what uh, developer Alan Schumann told me today. And that's going to play a big part in restoring this structure, how it used to look back in the 1920s. Absolutely beautiful architecture. A building that dates back decades is set to get new life. It is the finest neoclassical building in downtown Reading. Office space and a food court are planned for the old Meridian Bank on North 6th Street. Developer Alan Schumann says these plans have been a long time coming. We actually started trying to piece this together back in 2012. It does take a, a long time to line things up, but hopefully everything's lined up now to move forward with this. The building won't necessarily have a new look. But it's mostly restoring that 1925 terracotta. Out of facade. It was abandoned uh, five or six years ago. We purchased the mortgage from Fulton Bank, or actually intermediary with Fulton Bank. Nearby business owners are happy to hear about the plans. But the courthouse here has, you know, many employees, and at lunch they're running around looking for something to do and place to eat lunch. It would be great to have a, you know, a nice little place where people come locally. I think it's a great idea. I think um, it's an awesome idea for um, so many buildings that we have that are empty, and now somebody's taking over and doing something positive about it. And Schumann uh, hopes to have the facility ready to go sometime in 2019 to begin uh, bringing in leases. Live in Reading, Tom Rader, 69 News.